matted floor so all the droppings fall out and it follows the cattle around and fertilizes the ground as we don't use any nitrogen. The eggs are very saleable at the end of the drive, which we do. Um, it's got a little solar panel uh, which charges up the battery for because we use a bit of artificial light in the morning and in the evenings to keep the hens laying. Um, and also it's got automatic doors, shut them up and let them out in the morning. Um, it gets moved every day um, and, and just follows the cows round. Joel. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well this is a great this is a great prototype. Uh, just a couple of things that I, that I would uh, point out. Um, uh, one is that if you look in and see the nest boxes, um, if, if I may offer just a, a bit of a critique, and, and I'm not trying to be difficult, just um, just add some add some. You're getting ready to upgrade this. Yes. So things to think about when you're upgrading. First of all, the perch boards in front of the nest boxes should be hinged so when you gather eggs in the evening, you can tip them up and the chickens can't sleep in the nest boxes. Wherever a chicken sleep, sleeps, she leaves a calling card, otherwise known as poop, and you don't want calling cards in the nest boxes. So you, but the nest boxes are situated in here beautifully. The number one mistake I see on homemade, uh, um, you know, chicken things is the nest boxes are too low to the floor. You always want the nest boxes high enough that when the chickens are on the floor, they can't look in. Because when they look in, then they get interested and they loiter. And you don't want chickens loitering around the nest boxes. So these are perfectly situated so that so the birds don't look in. But the perch boards should hinge so you can lock the chickens out of the uh, nest boxes. The nest boxes are a little bit short on the front on the front board, that should be about four inches higher. So the chickens actually go in and have to sit down. That again, gets things down away from where they can see in easily and it darkens down the nest box. You want those nest boxes to be as dark as possible. Darkness is what keeps them from messing around. And, um, and as, as soon as you get more birds, messing around becomes a bigger deal because you know, you got, you've got more birds. Um, so those would be changes I'd make. The floor slats look wonderful. The spacing is great. The uh, butler doors are nice. The self-doing uh, doors. The height is fine. All you need is enough to, uh, you know, to get in. Let's talk about the chassis. All right. Um, the chassis here, of course, is 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 probably worth its weight in gold. But what we use for so I want you to think about something. Um, um, this is what uh, seven feet by ten feet. Yeah, yeah exactly. Is yeah. that it? Not far off. Okay. All right. All right. Um, our egg mobiles, the big ones, are are twelve by twenty, and the small ones are eight by sixteen. That's probably as big as you'd want to go here. It's a lot better to have two that are eight by 16 hooked together than one that's eight by 32, just because of the engineering of having a 16 foot structure on wheels as opposed to a 32. You get a lot of stress and a lot of things. So as you go up, and why would you wanna go up, you know? Well, you wanna go up because right now there's a tremendous amount of labor, time, and fuel devoted to not very much production. So, um, so when you, when you uh, uh, scale this up in order to pay for the cost of transportation and in getting there, because you want to do that so that the cost of getting there and going out there, you're, you're, you're bringing in more material for your trip. The cost here is in getting there, all right, whether you're walking or bringing a tractor out or, or a, a Polaris or whatever. And so, um, so... When you're, when you're upgrading this, making it bigger, you wanna make it a trailer and not a wagon. And the reason is because when you go to two wheels and a hitch point rather than four wheels, is that when you go through unevenness in the pasture, you go through unevenness, you know how a hay wagon flexes, right? Well, if you have four <laughs> wheels,